Hey guys, so once again I haven't made any videos for a little while. <clears throat> well, I've made some. I then deleted them, decided to redo them. But, um, been a rather kind of unpleasant few weeks. Um, on the Saturday I was, it was a few Saturdays ago, I was at my mum's house and, um, Dad had gone to go stay at his fiance's house. It was just um, my sister here with Diesel, and um, he had a seizure, so um, she called Dad back, and then I got back on the Sunday. And Dad was like, "He's not been very well," but I didn't know. That's what had happened at the point. I thought maybe he's just eaten something he's not supposed to, or he'd um, hurt his foot again whilst going on a walk, but. Um, my sister then said later that that's what it was and not really pleasant to see. Um, on the Sunday he was fine and um, on the Monday he had another seizure before I'd woken up. Um, he had to go to the vet, they took some blood to test. They come back saying that um, there wasn't really anything they'd seen with it other than that uh, certain parts of it were higher to show that he had a seizure. Um, me and my sister then went out during the day and it was just dad here and his fiance had come over and um, Diesel had another one. Um, so I think he ended up going back to the vet. They've uh, given him some tablets then and then um, in the evening we were all just sitting in the living room watching TV and then he had another one. That was the only one I had seen then so I was just kind of like I don't know what to do, I don't know how to help, because it was just the, I can't explain it, because it was like he knew it was going to happen, because he was just laying in his bed, it was on the floor where I am now, and then dad was sitting there and he just kind of turned to look at dad, and then the look on his face was just like, help me, and then he just kind of went and his legs would go in, and then he couldn't actually shut his mouth, so it was just wide open, and there was just like, way he'd been panting it was just kind of like foam everywhere and then it, it didn't seem to last too long but I think it was about seven or eight minutes and um when he'd stopped he just kind of tried to get up but he couldn't use his legs properly so he was just kind of like dragging himself on the floor and then but afterwards it was just kind of like nothing had happened he was just like really active he just wanted to walk around and he was just really really thirsty and um so when it was happening, my sister called the vets again, just to like see what was going on, because he's only 11, he'll be 12 soon, but obviously he's not that old, um, and he's half collie, and they said, um, I can't remember the type of it, but it's a type of epilepsy that is quite common in collies, they do, they're not really born with it, it's just one day they will then develop it, so... He's on epilepsy uh, tablets, he has to take two twice a day. Um, they also recommended that he go for a CT scan. I thought it was an MRI, but I don't really know the difference. And um, He went on the Tuesday, uh, kind of afternoon dad had taken him, but we didn't get him back until Thursday evening because there were other people's pets there who kind of took priority, it was more urgent for them to go, but um, it, it, it's not nice just not having him here for that long, because I'd just be like, oh, I'll just go downstairs, fuss the dog, oh, he's, he's not here, and um, they found a few things, but some of them weren't really too much of a problem, but he's got to go he has to go for regular checkups at the vets sort of well, every few months uh, for the tablets, but he also has to go for another CT scan at some point just to see if anything's changed, if it's the same or anything. Um, he's having a kip next to me. But um, then Dad managed to I don't know, catch the plague or something, and then a few days later my sister got it, and then like, the week after I ended up getting it and just it was, uh, I had a headache, my face hurt, I couldn't breathe, my throat hurt, I couldn't hear in my one ear, I was like that's really irritating 
going to work was just kind of impossible. Is there anything you want me to do? And it was just like, pity me. And I, I just didn't like have any strength to do anything. I couldn't lift simple objects that I usually do. And it was just kind of like, oh, so weak and pathetic. But um, that's kind of clearing now. I can sort of breathe. My throat doesn't hurt. My face doesn't hurt. Every now and then my ears still like, oh, you want to hear? Tough. But, um, he's probably fine. He hasn't had another seizure since the three on the Monday, so obviously his tablets are working. He's got cold nose. Look at his aura. Hello? Hello? Nah. <laughs> but, um, he's got just like where they did like various tests and stuff he's just got like random little shaved bits on him so it's um where is it this little bit on his leg here there's one I can't on his leg here there was one on his chest as well but he's got such a fluffy neck you can't really see that but there's also one at my wrist if you sit still sit still on the back of his neck there. Look down. Look down. Look down. On there. So it's kind of weird because you're just kind of used to just like stroking down his head and all the way down to his bum. And he's just kind of like spiny. And I didn't want to touch it because I didn't know what they actually shaved that bit for. But, um, weirdly close to my chin there. But. He's stirring all right now. Had quite a large heart attack. I was like, no, not my dog. But when he'd come back, he was literally when dad had gone to go pick him up on the Thursday, they'd like just finished with him and they weren't really going to let dad take him. But it was kind of like, you, you, you've had our dog for like three days now. We want him back. Don't lick my arm. Ew. Doggy spit. And then, so we just kind of like, brought his bed in here, but he smelt weird. That's, that's kind of a really strange thing to say, unless you've got a dog, or you've had a dog for a while, but he just, he didn't smell right. I'm not sure if it was vet smell, or the smell of medicine or something, but he just didn't smell right. Sometimes he smells like cake. I, I, that's really weird. He'll like, if, he, if it's cold outside, which is quite often, to be fair, I live in England, uh, he'll like go into the garden and, and then he'll just come back in and he smells like cake. No one else can smell it, but I can smell cake. So either I'm, I'm hungry for cake or we have a cake dog. But um, <clears throat> he was kind of like a stoner dog for a bit. So he was kind of like swaying and his eyes were closed and he was like, lie down. He's like, I don't want to. But um, he had a bit of a runny bum as well. And um, he farted really loud. I was like, oh dear. Maybe he pulled himself. I was like, do you need to go in the garden? And it was fine. But, you know. Yes. Yes. And um, they eventually led down. We just kind of like kept looking up. He's like, guys, he's still there. He's like, go to sleep. But, um, yeah. It's just kind of like nothing happened now. It was like, thanks a lot, these Scare us nothing. Well, technically not nothing. But, yeah. Shoo -shoo. He don't care. Really just doesn't care. But yeah. I've filmed a few videos. I, I feel like I need to start editing things, but I just not sure if they need editing. There's nothing really that needs cutting out or anything like that. So it'd just be more of like a presentation thing or but I don't know. Really. Really. Oi. Stop it. Yeah. But, um, <clears throat> that's pretty much it. Kind of explains where I've been. Bit of a poorly puppy and me as well. But, um, yeah. So this, this I was going to do this yesterday, but then I got distracted by cleaning. I don't, I don't really clean often. I was just like, super productive! And then, 
I cleaned. Ooh, we went to Ikea as well. On Monday. Never been to Ikea before. You could literally just like live in Ikea and they would never find you. But that would also make a very great place to just go and play hide and seek. Because you could just hide. It, it's so big. We, we missed quite a lot. I think because we weren't really following the arrows on the floor to start with, we were just kind of like meandering around as we felt like it, and we were like, there's arrows on the floor, let's follow them, and then you just, you have to open everything, even if there's nothing you want, I'm like, I'm going to open this, and the little like showrooms they had, and they had like the most amazing bunk bed, it was like, obviously if you have siblings or anything, at some point you probably had a bunk bed, me and my sister did, um, I was always on the bottom one because I did not like the ladder. Still don't like ladders, I don't do heights. It's kind of a combination fear of heights and falling. But um, they had one and it was like for older people, like teenagers or something. So they had like the single one on the bottom, but the bed on the top was a double. It was just kind of like, put the double one on the bottom, otherwise just, you know, the weight might just crush your sibling. <laughs> But that was cool. I was kind of like, hey, do you want do you want to keep sharing the room and use the spare one as like a craft room or something? It's like, hey, 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 no, I want my own room, get out. But, um, yeah, I finally have another box to put stuff in so I can actually take the shelves down and sort the wall out. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Redecorate the pain, really. It'd be nice if you could just do it like The Sims and just kind of like, done. But, um, my annoying UDs, waving my hands around, he's trying to sleep, but, you know, I'm sat too close to him, he, he's trying to pay attention, but not very well. I'm surprised he's not in the garden. It's sunny today, and then the back door's open, because it's sunny, I thought he might want to wander in and out. And he, he, there's just one patch in the garden, in the sun, that he'll lie in. It was sunny, uh, at some point last week. And I deft the door open. I was like, I haven't seen Diesel for a while. I remember letting him out for a wee. And um, he's just been led in the garden for about seven hours. I was like, keep me company, why don't you? But, yeah. This is long and chatty. So uh, I'll leave it there. That's where I've been. That's my lovely little doggy wog. And I'll see you soon.